There are times in your home when you might want things to happen automatically. You might want a light to come on when you get out of bed. Or when you open a door, you may want an audio reminder, like don't forget to take your keys. You might also want to let someone know that you need help. The term telecare is used to describe this system which uses sensors linked to a special telephone. It can greatly benefit individuals and the family and carers who support them by giving them reassurance and peace of mind. So why might you need help? You may have fallen and need assistance or require medical attention but cannot get to the phone. Or you may simply feel anxious and need some additional support. There are a range of ways you can call for help. For instance, pressing a pendant, pressing a button on a watch, or a wall-mounted button. The special phone attaches to a standard phone line. If you need help, this can connect you with the MyTelecare helpline or nominated friends or family members. So how does it work? When the button is pressed, it sends a radio message to the lifeline, which then dials and alerts your chosen contact or contacts that you need help. There are different types of telecare devices, as well as telecare devices you press, like the pendant, watch or wall-mounted button mentioned earlier. There are sensors that can automatically detect risks, like smoke, flood, gas or carbon monoxide. Sensors that can detect doors being opened and sensors to monitor personal risks such as detecting a fall or a seizure during the night. There are even gadgets that can remind you to take medication and alert someone if you forget. You could be alerted by a pager, a flashing beacon or even a vibrating pillow device. These sensors are designed to be discreet, enabling you to live as independently and safely as possible, whilst knowing that you have a safety net that should something happen, help is on its way if that is the response you want. There are also increasing opportunities to link telecare into other devices, such as voice prompts and lights. Access to telecare is usually through the NHS or social care, but as technology improves and gets more cost-effective, it's increasingly available on the high street.